It's very natural because China has achieved a certain level of development and now it has to go further. It has to be involved in, uh, in further development, which, as I mentioned, you know, artificial intelligence is one, a very typical aspect that will have to be given uh, very much uh, of an attention. Then, <clears throat> digital economy. I think China's new productive forces concept is one of the best policies that China has come up with in recent years. Uh, that's because a critical thing for China to do is to transition from being the factory of the world to being the more value-added innovator of the world also. The way that companies can add more value is not just focusing on producing uh, effectively uh, inexpensive products as cheaply as possible but coming up with innovations, uh, new great technologies, and using things like AI and the Internet of Things can help with this. From this international conference to this global stage, we hear the most words about new production. So, Hong Kong for new production, what can we do? I think, first of all, in technology innovation, Hong Kong must show its advantages to be able to work better with some strong partners. For example, we have the Earth Day. 火箭升天呢，有很多零部件是香港的，但是香港怎么样通过这些这个航天技术，把我们更多的这个青少年带动到他们的科技的对祖国的向心力、人心的回归，我认为这都是新的生产力有很大的促进的作用。The new quality productivity is quite important. High technologies is, I think, the most important driver of the world economy. Not only for China, for the whole world, and I think China is one of the leading countries which brings the uh, increasing quality production and the high technologies into the world. And uh, I, I am sure that this trend will continue, and the Chinese economy will grow.